Hey folks, Chris, once again, welcome back to another video. This is another request, this time from uh, Peter, and he wanted me to react to a video called. Shit, where'd he go? It's called EDP 445 caught working as a security guard at CVS. I have no idea what the hell this is. But, um, let's watch. What's up, nigga? So check this out. I got a notification on my phone that Master at Work put out a video of EDP. And in that video, it shows that uh, he's working as a security guard at so? a CBS in Las Vegas. Now, I'm not going to put the address of the location of where he was found working. I'm not that type of person. Nor am I going to put up a phone number. It's just, I'm not that type of dude. But uh, I am going to talk about something that somebody commented on that video. And I thought they had kind of a, and for a gap, it, it definitely had a, a point. So as we know, EDP got busted, the cupcake, the funeral, whatever, blah, blah. Okay, and huh? we, they created, God damn it. You know, what do you say? Going to talk about something that somebody commented on that video, and I thought they had kind of you know, whatever, blah blah. And when you are a 500 pound black, by the way, this guy has gained so much more weight when he got caught. And now, I mean, he looks like he put on another 50 pounds, which is unbelievable. He came and walked. What a fat fuck. So, this guy, I guess I took a picture of him, what have you, and somebody in the comment section basically said this when you guys drive him to commit suicide uh, you guys are going to be feeling bad about making all these troll videos and you know constantly exposing where he lives where he works at yeah all that i mean well the guy they can't be that bad in terms of driving drive to kill himself i mean what the fuck did he do i don't know he had a valid point let me explain when you reach a level on YouTube where people, you know, recognize you and they're giving you money and you're making really good money for just posting silly videos, and then you get wrapped up in this old, uh, you know, talking to a, a little kid thing, yeah, it's the worst of the worst. You are built you are scum. Now, what did he do? When you go from making ten, fifteen thousand dollars a month, and you come down to where you're looking for jobs that are paying twelve, thirteen dollars an hour, you got to think, okay, should this man? And when I say the word man, I release that loose with this guy because he's no man. He's just, he's just a dick. But when is enough enough? And when do we leave him alone and let him live his life and let him? work his $12, $13 an hour job and have his crappy apartment in Las Vegas. Like, when do we leave him alone? Now. Leave him alone now. What the fuck did he do? I don't understand. Now, when do we when do we let him live his life? Never. That's my answer. Never. Sorry, guys. I got, I got a text from my mom. She got a... Got a do some so I'm gonna pause the video and come back. Back. <laughs> Alright, let's continue with this. Don't let up on him. If he wants to go ahead and end it all, that's on him. He made a choice. He was famous on YouTube, and when he was chatting with a 13 year old, oh. he knew what he was doing. Okay. I'm sorry, but that makes sense. I'm so sorry, guys. I just, I never heard of this guy, but right there, I'm like, yeah, I, I understand why this guy's been doing this video. He knew that if the chat or people would find out what he was doing, that his life was over. Every day that he woke up, right, and he was going to go talk to his little 13-year-old girlfriend, he knew it was wrong. He knew it was illegal. He knew that he should stop. He knew... But he doesn't care. He knew the kind of content that shit. he created. He knows what kind of fan base he has. Mostly 14-year-old incel nerds. 
he knew what the ramifications were for him getting caught and he's facing it now and when he would send that you know suppose a 13 13 year old girl pictures of his dick showing her pictures of him taking a dump i mean he's what a the, pig what the fuck? oh my god I didn't know this guy was this bad. God damn, and he's a big fat fucking tub of fucking lard. He's chatting with a. What the fuck? And to say, like, oh, leave him alone, he's gonna talk to me, you know, who cares? He had plenty of time to just say, you know what, this is illegal, this is wrong, I can ruin my life. Um, I'm a disgusting human being. I need help. I need counseling. Let me go handle my demons. But he didn't want to do that. He didn't want to fix the ship in his life that was, you know, right side up. He wanted to continue to supposedly talk to the girls yeah. online. He doesn't want to get help, then. I mean, there's. I can't really be mad at this guy or the guy stopping me. Like, I don't know, man. This shit, I don't like. I don't. I don't watch shit like this. So, um, I watch. I do watch fake scary shit, but when it comes to shit like this, I just don't like it, guys. I'm sorry, but I just hate this shit. When it comes to pedophiles and all that crap, I don't like it. You got caught the first time, right? The first time you got caught, you would think you learned your lesson, right? Because the first time you got caught, okay, alright, whatever. But to go even younger and go down and yeah, no, he deserves everything that he has come into. Hey, yeah, I guess. It's not I guess. anybody's responsibility on where another man works at or how he lives his life or how he's able to make a living. That's not our responsibility. You know, you fucked up, you committed a crime, you're a disgusting human being, and you live in the uh, in the muck that you created. He, you know, listen, EDP is just going to have to realize, dude, you are a 500-pound black dude. It's not like you're just like, you know, a 5'9", 160-pound white guy that can just pretty much blend in everywhere he goes. You're huge. Yeah. You can't go anywhere without people looking at you, number one. To be honest, he looks worse than Joy's World Tour. I'm, I'm not joking, guys. You should have you seen... Or I just saw the video and he looks way worse than George World Tour. Seriously. One, because you're obese. And number two, you were you are famous and obese. You know? People are already you're already getting attention just because of how big you are. And then some people say, Oh, that's uh you know, it's that's eating pedo or whatever. And then they go in on it. And then when somebody takes a picture at your job and they put it up, master at work, he's there to uh, make sure that everybody knows exactly what's going on. It's not master at work's fault that uh, you know he gets the information and he puts it out online. I'm pretty sure that uh, by the time the controls start really calling CVS or calling the security company, he's already got fired. He already, he's either already quit or he already got fired. He ain't going back to that job. He can't work anywhere. He can't do anything. What he should have done, you know, because I don't like giving pigs like that any kind of advice, but what he should have done, and he messed up, all he had to have done is go to, like, Thailand or Cambodia and just stay out there until things cool off. Stay off of social media. Don't make any accounts. He could have gone out there, rented a, an apartment for 400 bucks a month, and lived off of his money for at least a year. I mean, of course, you got to come back. You know, you got to leave the country and come back and all that stuff, but you figured out, I think you go to this neighboring country and come back. He could have done that for a year, not posted anything, not done anything, and then come back. But nope. See, he's a dumb person. He's stupid. He, first of all, you're stupid. You're a pig. You're talking to underage kids online. And yeah, why don't you fucking do that, man? You know what they say? Just pick, just pick someone your own size to fucking date or whatever, send pictures of your junk to. Don't send it to fucking kid. This guy, not the guy talking, but this fat fuck. I mean, if he sent pictures of his dick to a little girl, my god, that's 
That's unbelievably dis disgusting. And you think that people are going to like, forgive you? You think that people are going to still watch you? Now, of course, you know, you still got your Gaffian fans out there, your little 13-year-old, 14-year-old, stupid, dumb kids who think you're funny. You think that a 37-year-old man talking about... Dude, they're kids. Kids aren't that... S kids... Kids don't understand, right? About his farts and his masturbation habits, you think that's hilarious for some reason. I've been calling this guy a pedophile for two years, and you guys used to come and hate on me. You know, so maybe this asshole on his motorcycle. He deserves everything that he has coming to him at the end of the day. He deserves everything. All right, guys, I gotta go. Man, my face is getting chubby as hell, man. I've been, I've been eating too much. I gotta lose weight. Yeah, maybe I'll go watch another master of work video about EDP's body. Maybe it'll won't make me to go to the gym. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Whatever, man. But yeah, and that's, see guys, I don't, I get hesitant when I take requests because shit like, I, so when someone punch shit like this, I'm like, I don't, I don't want to see that, but, I mean, I get that people like that are spreading the word, warning kids and stuff, stay away from people like that, but, it's just not something I want to watch. Or hear people talk about, or see people do. I mean, does this guy deserve all the hate? Yes. Does he deserve to die and kill himself? I. Let's be honest. No one deserves. No one deserves to die unless that person killed another person, or or worse, abuse a fucking animal enough to kill it. People like that, I think, should kill. Should should should, should fucking bite the dust and fucking die. But I don't know. It's hard for me to explain stuff like that because I don't like stuff like this. So, I have no words. The guy's a creep. People are hating on him. And he's got fans, but... Yeah, I... Like I said, I've never heard of this guy. So, if you guys are going to type in the comments saying, you, you don't understand. I'm like, I don't, you know what? I don't want to fucking understand. I just don't like caring about pedophilia and all that crap. So, yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. We'll see you guys later. Bye bye.